Monday, Monday, Monday. I'm Coach Skip at Wildfire CrossFit, and we've got another great week for you. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Get in, get after it. We're going to have some fun this week. We're going to start with a warm-up. We're just going through one round today. We're going to do two minutes of jump rope practice to start. So get your jump rope out. If you don't have a jump rope, just start practicing virtually. Spin those hands as you do that jump. Get that rhythm down. Work on that coordination. You can even do a little back and forth here and work on those double unders, which is a little more powerful jump with two spins to the wrist. So whatever you need to do to practice that with or without a jump rope, it's great agility, good to get that heart rate up and then really get things going. After that, we're gonna go into 10 inch worm push-ups. So you're gonna start from that standing position. You're gonna go down and inch those hands out to that push-up position. Do a push up and then inch those toes back in to the hands. Even if you need to do this from your knees, that's fine. Go right down, same thing, inch out, go down to the knees and do that push up and then inch those feet towards those hands for every rep. Then we're gonna do down up dog stretches, 10 of them, five of each, five down dog, five up dog. Get that head through the window bicycle those heels, and then up dog, push those hips into the ground and the chest away. After that, we've got alternating plank shoulder tap. So you're gonna be in that same push-up position. And you're just gonna reach up and touch your left shoulder with your right hand, right shoulder with your left hand. And just back and forth here, keeping the shoulders square to the ground. Then we're gonna do 10 PVC strict press. So we just want something light. If you don't have a PVC or a broom handle or any kind of stick at home, you can always do this with a towel and you're just gonna press through, get that head through the window. If you're using a towel, just pull it apart at the top and then right back down to that rack position. Again, really focus on range of motion here and getting a good stretch at the top. Then we'll do 10 sumo squats. In that sumo squat, you're gonna be nice and wide. Normal squat is about shoulder width apart. Sumo squat, you're going a little bit wider than that. Sit that butt down, keep that chest up, reach for the ground, and stand up in between. Every time reach for the ground, really get those hips open. That's the point in this sumo squat. The last one is gonna be 10 plate arm raises. So you're gonna have your plate in front of you and you're gonna keep those arms straight all the way up overhead and right back down again. Again, just an exercise to warm up those shoulders. So that's your warm up, just one round through it. Get any other stretching you need to done before you get into the strength for today. For strength today, we are going to be doing a shoulder press. So this is a strict movement. You can do it with a barbell, you can do it with dumbbells. If you got a spot on the rack to use, great, go for it. If you don't, that's okay because relatively speaking, this is going to be a lighter weight lift than a push press or a push jerk. So how this is going to go is you're going to start with that weight in what we call the rack position, which should be right up against your shoulders. Your core is tight, your butt is squeezed, and your knees are locked. Again, this is a strict movement. We're not recruiting any lower body muscles here. As you go up, you're just pressing that bar, getting that head through the window, straight up overhead, and right back down to the rack position. So three reps, and you're gonna go up in weight every single set, after every single set. You're gonna be doing seven sets of three, going up in weight each time, so take plenty of time to rest in between each and every set. If you're limited on weight, you're using lighter dumbbells, kettlebells, or you don't have much weight to work with, you can increase those reps to either six or nine and just do those same reps, either six or nine for those same seven sets. If you don't have any equipment to use at all, then you're gonna do the same thing with 10 push-ups, and you're gonna do 10 push-ups 
for seven sets with a couple minutes rest in between, all the way down, drive away, get that full lockout, or go from the knees, same way, all the way down, push that torso away from the body. So those are your three options. Full equipment is gonna be seven sets of three. Light equipment is gonna be seven sets of either six or nine reps. And then no equipment is gonna be seven sets of 10 push-ups. After that, and before the workout, we're gonna get right into a short skill. This is gonna take less than five minutes, and we're gonna be working double unders. We're gonna do a Tabata double under skill work. And so 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest for eight rounds. That double under, that's two spins of the rope to one jump. So really focus on tucking those elbows in, holding that rope towards the end of the handle so you get more of a flick on it, and fast wrist as you get around with a little bit more power to the jump. Right in here. 20 seconds, then you'll rest for 10, and you'll go back again and keep doing that for 20 seconds and accumulating as many reps as possible over the course of that eight rounds. If you're not quite there for double unders yet, you can do this with singles. Just really work on good form with those singles, small jump, let the rope do the work as you're going around. And if you don't have a rope or you would like to mix and match to get better for those double unders, great, just do a virtual double under where you're doing that double spin, a little bit more power and working on getting that rhythm even though you're not using a rope. Finally, we've got the workout for today, and it's a good one. It's a 12-minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible in 12 minutes of 40 double under. Same thing, just that double spin, two spins of the rope to one jump. If you're not, if you're, uh, if you're not there with your double unders, you can do singles, in which case you're gonna do 80 singles. So it's two to one singles instead of the double unders. Again, if you also need to, you can do that virtual. And if you're doing the virtual and getting that good powerful jump and that double spin, then stick with the same 40 reps. Then we're gonna be doing alternating dumbbell snaps. So you've got 20 of these. We're alternating hands each time. You are gonna use a dumbbell. You can also use a kettlebell. If you don't have any weight, you can always fill up a, a gallon container or milk jug, grab a can of soup, anything you need to have a little bit of weight to explode overhead that you can hold in one hand. On that snatch, you're gonna have your feet about shoulder width apart, butt down, chest up as you grab a hold of that dumbbell, explode through all the way to the top, and then either as you're coming down, switch hands, or put that weight out all the way on the ground and switch hands. Keep that other hand off of your body. It needs to stay away from your body as you explode through and then just switch arms every time, alternating back and forth. 10 on the right, 10 on the left. You'll finish it up with 10 handstand push-ups. On that handstand push-up, uh, make sure you control, get all the way up to the top, lock it out, come all the way down, touch that head, Bring those knees in to get that kipping motion and finish with your heels against the wall every single set. Again, 12 minutes, as many rounds as possible, 40 double unders, 20 dumbbell alternating snatch, and 10 handstand push-ups. Have fun, get a, get a good number of rounds in, really focus on going unbroken as much as possible through those 40 double unders, or the 80 singles, and that's gonna help you speed up this workout. Have a great day, have fun with this one, and I will see you again soon here at Wildfire CrossFit.